Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, October 10th, 2024, let's get into it. Yes, to the dismay of Democrats everywhere, that cybersecurity guy is still around. The storm has passed me by, and I'm going to sleep for the next 48 hours, because <laughs> I am just wasted, exhausted, and totally depleted at this point but i wanted to make a video because one person did express some concern well actually it was about two maybe three people all right let's get into the news uh because we got to get uh, this so the first one i want to do is this is a a maga only uh only in florida are they built different <laughs> video let's watch that now All right, so that one was cute. So then the latest Trump ad came up, and uh, I was loving every minute of it. Now, you have to understand how Democrats vote against their own self-interest. And, of course, they voted against the Keystone Pipeline and uh, everything else. But let's watch the latest Trump ad. I just, I mean, because come up, well, let, me, let me give you the background on this. Let me give you the background before we get started. Okay, Kamala... She came out and, you know, if you, if you understand how the Democrat campaign is working, they're trying to present everything as if she's going to be a whole different person once she gets elected from what she was <laughs> in, in the Biden administration. So then she came on to The View and she said, well, I don't see where I would change anything about what we've done in the last four years. Totally negating her entire campaign. <laughs> oh my God. It's huge. Watch this ad. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. The president's withdrawal was a complete and utter catastrophe. The images of people hanging off of planes and desperate parents handing their babies over the airport walls to soldiers are seared into our country's collective conscience. The withdrawal was a catastrophe in my opinion. And there was an ex inexcusable lack of accountability and negligence. Everyday things like groceries are still too high. You know it and I know it. You are right. Prices in particular for groceries are still too high. The American people know it, I know it. All right, so that's that's that. Ah, oh, holy moly. So we're just going to go through. Now, this is an old video, but it's about inflation. Now, if you don't understand how your money's being stolen from you or anything like that, I want you to watch this video on how your money's being stolen from you by the Democrats. Okay, let's just watch it. Inflation is made in Washington because only Washington can create money. And any other attribution of an, to other groups of inflation is wrong. Consumers don't produce it. Producers don't produce it. The trade unions don't produce it. Foreign sheiks don't produce it. Oil imports don't produce it. What produces it? It's too much government spending and too much government creation of money and nothing else. Inflation is the most destructive disease known to modern societies. There is nothing which will destroy a society so thoroughly and so fully as letting inflation run riot. Inflation doesn't arise because you've got uh, consumers who are spendthrift. They've always been spendthrift. It doesn't arise because you've got a uh, businessman who are greedy. They've always been greedy. Inflation arises because we as citizens have been asking you as politicians to perform an impossible task. We've been asking you to spend somebody else's money on us, but not to spend our money on anybody else. Everybody talks against inflation, but what he means is that he wants the prices of the things he sells to go up and the prices of the things he buys to go down. The real tax on the American people is not what you label taxes. It's total spending. If Congress spends $50 billion more than it takes in, if government spends $50 billion, who do you suppose pays that $50 of course, billion? Dollars? Of course. The Arab sheiks aren't paying it. Santa Claus isn't paying it. The tooth fairy isn't paying it. You and I, as taxpayers, are paying it indirectly through hidden taxation. 
All right, so there was that. All right, let's get into the Ukraine war for just one minute. Uh, big surge. Significant Russian advances on the Servesk, Serversk front. Russian forces moved up several kilometers on both the frontal approach to Servesk as well as the road along the, the Donetsk River reaching... Good Lord. Russia, can't you freaking... I mean, it's like they roll up the alphabet, put it in a freaking puzzle, and just sprinkle it on the floor, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to... I, of course, the, 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 the clip's going to be up. Suribayanka. Who the hell names a city like that? Why can't you call it, like, New York? Or something like Chicago? Or, I mean, think about our cities, you know? I mean, uh, we've got Tampa Bay. <laughs> these things are so easy, but these Russian cities are named, like, a, a, a gazillion letters long. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm sorry, I just got off on a tangent. The front has been static and uh, deprioritized for a long time. All right, so um, just in, Alejandro Mayorkas furious over hurricane disinformation. <laughs> you know what? I just put up, it's, it's, it's amazing how these things come to me. I just put up an a, a video about how uh, the weather might be manipulated i mean you form your own opinion and it was, was by redacted i had nothing to do with it i don't know a damn thing about weather you know I, it, it's it, it's kind of like youtube taking down my videos because i say that you know i, I question the veracity of uh, that stuff that you wear on your face right you know i mean i i always said you know i'm not sure that that, that really does anything <laughs> you know <laughs> but youtube bans me every single time but anyway, let's let's watch that's the stupid interview because I I mean it, by the way, anytime that you're hovering over the target, that means the government is denying everything. I will tell you another negative impact of this deliberately false information. Uh, it is demoralizing to the men and women at the federal level, at the state and local level, who are actually risking their lives to save others and to bring much needed relief to those who need it. All right, so there was that video. Uh, let's keep going. Douglas McGregor breaking. President Trump is housing close to 300 linemen at no charge in the Trump Doral, Miami as Milton targets Florida. Yes, yes, indeed. We have everything we need here in Florida. Now, I got lucky. I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, the, 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 the storm went south of me uh, for the most part. I mean, I, obviously, I, I got to get out and assess the damage. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just reveling in the fact that I'm still here <laughs> after, after cooking everything in my refrigerator and cutting the air conditioning down and filling buckets of water. And, you know, I mean, uh, oh, my God, the amount of preparation that I went through. And uh, it turns out, well, it, I thank God. It's, it's always good to be prepared and everything becomes unnecessary. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Isn't that a beautiful thing? All right, John Kennedy. Hurricanes are devastating American communities, but VP Kamala Harris wants to send millions to a country run by Iran-backed terrorists. If America gives Lebanon money, Hezbollah will use it to buy weapons to try to kill us in Israel. Let's watch that video. Well, Vice President Harris and some members of the media are complaining that people are asking hard questions about the uh, Biden-Harris recovery to Hurricane Helene. They, uh, they say uh, it's a new conspiracy theory. Uh, I'll concede that we need some new conspiracy theories, but it's because all the old ones turned out to be true. Uh, conspiracy theories up something like 37 to nothing. Here are the facts. Uh, Helene was a monster storm. We saw it coming. The federal government had time to prepare. It wasn't prepared. We don't have nearly enough soldiers and military has hel helicopters uh, uh, rescuing people. Uh, during Katrina, we had 20,000 soldiers and 350 military helicopters. A week after the storm in Appalachia, 
uh, we had, I think, 7,000 soldiers and maybe 100 helicopters, and you especially need helicopters in a mountainous area. Senators uh, Bud and Tillis are so frustrated, they've asked uh, Vice President Harris and President Biden to put an active duty military leader in charge, but so far I don't think they've heard anything. Now, in the middle yeah, of all well, of this, the White yes, House, I was just, I was just going to say, in the middle of all this, the White House sends a FEMA representative on a national talk show on su Sunday to say, stop with the hard questions. It's hurting the morale of the FEMA employees. You can't, even Jesse Smollett can't make this stuff up. I mean, most Americans who saw that interview, Sean, thought, you know, cry me a river. That's what we pay you for. Get your ass back to work um, and, and, and do your job. And then, in the middle of all this, the vice president uh, puts out this tweet that she wants to send $157 million to Lebanon. Uh, Lebanon is run by Hezbollah. We're at war with Hezbollah. If you give Lebanon money, Hezbollah will take it and use it to buy weapons to try to kill us and Israel. There's no reward for being stupid. Okay, so now I want to get into something that I, I want to do different. Uh, because, I, I, I'm, you know, I, unfortunately a lot of people are not on X. And daggone it, I really wish you would get there. Uh, because, you know, the, I got so much great material on X. Because <laughs> you know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I can't say on YouTube, man. And even making these videos, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, you, you can post up a reply. Or you can just post something up. It's just, it only takes two seconds on X. Whereas making a damn video and putting, now I got the lighting, huh? How's my lighting, people? All oh, you people, they were bitching about my lighting. How's it look now, huh? I think I look pretty good, right? Right? All right, so let's let's keep going. So so I hit these replies. Uh, and and this this was this was a funny one. It says, "Do you support Donald J Donald Trump finishing the Keystone XL pipeline when elected?" And this is what I like about it because it shows you the post and then it shows you your reply because a lot of times I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> Let's see. Union workers who voted Democrat may be saying yes to a Trump vote now. <laughs> they lost $100,000 jobs day one of the Biden administration. Hey, all you union workers out there, you real happy about the fact that you lost all your jobs? This was uh, Simon Aktiba. Breaking outrage, Biden slams Trump for leading an onslaught of lies and spreading disinformation about the hurricane, blasts Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene for claiming the government is controlling the weather. And we've already talked about that, and I encourage you to go watch my latest video. But you know what? Isn't, isn't it amazing how Marjorie Taylor Greene's hovering, hovering right over the target? Okay, I, and, and even my best friend, he tells me, he goes, Kirk, don't go into that whole weather thing. <laughs> but you know what? I have to. I have to. I Because every conspiracy theory, I mean, in the history of the world, was the, were, were the Democrats spying on the Trump administration? Yes. Were there FBI uh, people in the January 6th invasion of the Capitol? Yes. I mean, it just seems like one thing after another. Uh, was the... Was the jab a bad idea? Yes. All right. So probably medical disinformation. Don't pay any attention to me. I don't know a damn thing. All right. So let's keep going. Uh, uh, watch. Let's, so let's see. Breaking news. Israel refuses to reveal its plan of attack. Iran to the United States. Is Israel doing the right thing by not trusting the Biden administration? <laughs> oh, my God. I said, you know what? It doesn't matter, man. If Israel strikes Iran, it's game over for Israel. Do you know how many missiles Iran has? They're going to freaking obliterate Israel. And, you know, and the American people don't know a damn thing. They don't know a damn thing about what's coming. I mean, I, but I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I dag on it. I don't want to make a prediction, but I will speculate. Let's just say speculate. I don't think Israel's going to attack Iran, or if they do, they're going to do it in some really minor fashion. 
because they know they're going to get obliterated. Iran's got the capability to, to, to launch. Now, is Israel going to launch their nukes? I, I've heard crazy things like they got 60, 600. I don't know how many nukes Israel has. And by the way, the United States still denies that Israel has nukes. Do you honestly believe that? If you're a Democrat, I'm sure you do. <laughs> This is the next one. I, you know, I just wanted to go through the replies. I haven't spent a video on replies in a very, very long time. This might be a long video because I, I've, I've given so many replies. Uh, if necessary, are you okay with the U.S. military using deadly force to protect the border? Well, my reply was, would you use deadly force preventing someone from robbing or breaking into your house? If you say no... Then you're a Democrat. Because <laughs> a Democrat, they don't even have a gun. Oh, my God, because they don't even believe in the Second Amendment. So you know what? I hope all Democrats get robbed. Please, if you're a criminal out there and you see a Biden sign, please go rob the House because obviously they're probably not armed. All right, let's keep going. Uh, once again, uh, th this was just me uh, posting a reply. Once again, a time the left protested against war. Oh, by the way, if you're on X, it, it, there's the Apocalypse Now video, or if, you, if you're not on X, if you're just watching this video on YouTube, go find, just type in Apocalypse Now, okay? There was a time back in the 60s. Uh, I was very young back then, and the Democrats actually seemed, well, remember the hippies and Woodstock and the whole deal. I mean, it used to be, it seemed to be they were against war. Now the Democrats, the warmongering Democrats are war, war, war. They want to freaking obliterate the world. But back then, I, and so I put up a link to the, uh, to the, the, the video, and this is, this is just what I had to say about it. Once upon a time, the left protested against war. I was very young and did not understand the Vietnam War and why it was so evil. Democrat, Democrat, by the way, Lyndon B. Johnson, uh, took over after JFK was assassinated. Now, why do you think JFK was assassinated? There's many speculations on that. One of the reasons was JFK wanted little to do with the Vietnam War, which is probably one of the reasons he was shot in the head. Huh? What do you think? You think I'm right about that? I don't know. Put a comment below. Thank God Trump was not. Just like back then and now, all the elite establishment Democrats want, and all Democrats, if you know a Democrat, all they want is war, war, war. Okay, let's keep going. If you know a Democrat, encourage them to watch this dystopian video. As a Republican, I stand against war. President Trump, bring peace to the world once you are elected. And that's so that was my... My post, and I put up a link to the video. It's, it's an outstanding video. It was a re-dendered version of uh, the, the original Apocalypse Now with the helicopters coming in and the, and the music playing. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 da, da, dun, 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 da, da, dun, 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 da, da, dun, and, they, and they're shooting. I mean, I tell you what, Apocalypse Now, if you haven't watched the movie, it's the freaking greatest movie. <laughs> it, was, it was probably ever created. And the left created the movie. Oh my God! And now they, 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 you know, oh this, this, this was insane. All right, so we've got. I can't post this obviously on YouTube, uh, and I don't even think I should post this on Rumble. <laughs> but somebody did this AI-generated video, and I said, as crazy as this is, many of our government leaders are evil in joy, and it 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 shows uh, Elon Musk in a Batman outfit, and it shows. Uh, I, I, uh, people hugging a dog and Kamala Harris and I mean oh my god I you'd have to watch this video I don't even know how they generated this oh hell all right let's keep going uh, this is Simon Octaba today Kremlin confirms Trump sent scarce COVID-19 tests to Putin during the pandemic the Kremlin confirmed that former President Trump sent COVID-19 testing devices to Russian President Vladimir Putin for his personal use uh, during the pandemic. It also re revealed in journalist Bob Woodstern's book 
Kremlin spoken Dmitry Paskov acknowledged the tests were sent, but denied the book's claims that the two leaders had multiple phone conversations since Trump left office. All right. All right, let's, let's read my reply. Let's read my reply. Good for Trump. <laughs> we need a good relationship with foreign leaders. Don't you think peace would be a good idea? Don't you think it's good to talk to foreign leaders and say, hey, hey, Xi Jinping, or, uh, or remember when Trump went across into North Korea and met with uh, uh, that, that idiot in charge of North Korea and, and, and they shook hands across the DMZ? That was a fucking great moment. I mean, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe Trump did that. Well, you know what? Sometimes it's good to talk to your neighbors. They're your adversaries, okay? Anyway, all right, let's just keep going. Uh, this was M Melania Trump parody. You know, I wonder, these parody accounts, I guess they, I would think they're approved by the people that they represent. I don't know that for sure. There's Elon Musk parody. There's Melania Trump parody. I mean, on X, if you're not on X, you, don't, you wouldn't understand. And uh, it says, who thinks Tulsi Gabbard is way smarter than Kamala Harris? <laughs> I, said, I said, well, she's way smarter than me. <laughs> no, I mean, Tulsi Gabbard, when you listen to her speak, I, could, I, I tell you what, I wouldn't want to debate Tulsi Gabbard. I, I think she's one um, incredibly... Therefore, leaps and bounds ahead of Kamala. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, for, from, all right. We're, we're going to finish off the video now. I know we're getting a little long in the hair. Uh, it says, uh, from what I can tell, Hurricane Milton has passed Marion County for the most part. So this was the, the main message. I wanted to let everybody know that uh, we're all safe here. We're, we're, I'm tucked in like a bug in a rug. and I, Like I said, I'm going to sleep for the next 48 hours. I don't even know. Uh, but, and of course, I was talking about weather manipulation, and I put up that episode. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, this was D.C. Dranko. Let's, let's see. The first floor of New North Carolina mayor's daughter's house was flooded and destroyed everything. She applied to FEMA $750, and they only approved $300. <laughs> what the hell will $300 do? Buy a microwave? This is what North Carolina is flipping strongly for, why North Carolina is flipping strongly for Trump. I'd like to bring it, uh, and so we're getting back to Hurricane Helene. Now, of course, we, we just went through Milton. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, let me just put that down. Enough, enough jokes, enough, enough of me cackling and laughing. I uh, don't want to get serious for one second. All right. Um, I pray... 4,000 body bags for Hurricane Helene. Uh, probably 2,000 dead. The, the media is not reporting on this. Uh, the, the devastation that took place south of me here in Florida with uh, Hurricane Milton. Uh, I've been watching the videos. Uh, it, it's Luckily, we got lucky because it swept through pretty quick. Uh, but some towns, I mean, you know, you think, okay, North Carolina got 44 inches of rain. Uh, from what I understand, there was 16 to 20 inches of rain in some places where the hurricane came across. Now, I don't know how many inches of rain. I probably only got about 6, maybe 8, 10 inches of rain here uh, in Marion County, Florida. Uh, but uh, it's still devastating what has taken place. And, and, and I've watched, there was a video, uh, I, wish, I wish I could post it, but you know, there's only so much I can do. Uh, but these hurricane people that get out and just make the videos, and I'm just like, how in the hell are they filming all this stuff? Because it was just water pouring into buildings and, and roofs ripped off. I mean, uh, there's some sort of sports team that, that the, the entire sports structure is completely destroyed. Uh, so, and and it, I, God knows what the death toll numbers will be. I mean, I, like I told you, uh, two days ago, uh, that everybody was evacuating Florida, and I was very proud to see that the huge lines of cars going up 75, which is just, you know, a stone's throw away from my house. And uh, so I think everybody, for the most part, tried to do the right thing. But then I also watched videos about people that are calling into 911. And, you know, unfortunately, 911's telling them, we can't do anything. 
You know, we are not going to send our rescuers out in, in, in the middle of a hurricane to rescue you. So anyway, uh, it's just, uh, I guess we'll, we'll see. I, like I said, I won't be making a video for a while. <laughs> I'm going to sleep for the next two days. Uh, I guess that's it for the video. And uh, peace out and stay free.